everybody. I'm going to take you through a practice today called Chandra Bedana or moon piercing breath. It's a pranayama practice, so we'll be working with the breath. And I always like to start out breathing practices just by feeling the natural breath. So feel that you're breathing in and out through your nose. You can seal up your lips and feel your inhale across your nostrils and your exhale across your nostrils. Keep doing that, keep settling in, feeling that breath, and I'll tell you a little bit more about Chandra Vedana. So it's a practice that can really help to soothe the nervous system. So it can be helpful before bedtime if you're having trouble sleeping, your mind's going, or your body feels restless. This can be a great practice for you. It also is helpful if you have heat or excess pitta in your body or your mind or if you're feeling agitated. That being said, if you're pregnant or have a cold, this practice might not be the best for you. So keep that in mind. And we'll finesse the practice a little bit more. We'll get into Chandra Bedana here. So you're gonna keep breathing through your nose, but I want you now to feel that you're breathing in on the left side of your body and out on the right side. Or you might just feel it at your nostril, in on the left, out on the right doesn't matter if it's actually happening or not. This is about feel. Make sure too that you're sitting tall for this practice so that the energy and really the breath can flow freely in and out of the lungs. When we're slouching, things get collapsed, the lungs get compressed, they can't really fill to capacity. So sit up tall, breathe in on the left and out on the right. And we'll finesse it a little bit further. We'll use the right hand, or actually you can use either hand, and use your thumb to block your right nostril. If you're using your right hand, it's your right thumb. And you're gonna breathe in on the left. So now you really are just breathing in on the left. And then you'll switch it. You're gonna block your left nostril. I use the ring finger to breathe out on the right. And that's the whole practice. You go back to in on the left, out on the right. In on the left, out on the right. Keep going with it, but go slow enough that you feel what you're doing. So we could do this practice really quickly and it's not gonna have the same effect as if we're really feeling it. So feel the in on the left, feel the out on the right. Feel that you're still sitting tall and you can finesse it even further by taking Vishnu Mudra. So the index finger and the middle finger come down. It'll look like that to you. Pinky and ring finger join up, blocking the right nostril with the thumb, the left nostril with the ring finger. Keep going, in on the left, out on the right. When I teach this practice in class, we usually do it for a minute or something like that, but it's a practice you can do for much longer if you feel like you're getting benefits from it. If you're feeling yucky after you do it, don't do it. Don't do it for longer, certainly. But you could do it for eight minutes, 10 minutes, even longer than that, especially if it's in the evening or if you're feeling anxious. Keep going in on the left, out on the right, sitting tall. If you wanna do the practice laying in bed, you go back to what we started with without using the hand, just by feel in on the left, out on the right. Instead of counting sheep, feel your breath. 